So there's quite a bit of unique dialogue that you probably missed in High on Life's DLC, High on Knife. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all a few different secret unique dialogue that you can get that I haven't seen on YouTube yet. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into these. The first one I'll be showing you all here is around when you are first encountering Mux. If you actually avoid encountering her by not destroying the creature that starts attacking you when everything goes dark, here's what will happen. I gotta admit, the developers have a great sense of humor here. Freaking pseudo pops up and just turns off our flashlight when we're needing it the most. And then says, oh, looks like you're needing that. I'll pop that back on for you. And also, we got Knifey explaining like how he regrets coming here and everything. But yeah, this is when we first encounter Muck. After we severely hurt this creature and chase after it, that's when we encounter Muxalon. But yeah, there's actually some other unique dialogue that you probably missed, and that is at the very end of the DLC, around when we're about to kill Muxalon. We're definitely pushed here to just go and stab Muxalon, but if you don't immediately, you actually get some unique dialogue. Check this out. Branding test through the roof? It's basically bulletproof. Yeah, maybe. But is it stat proof? Okay, I know we're having a lot of fun rebelling here, but I might be starting to get cold feet. I mean, what would I even do with a weekend off?
where all the parasites were coming from. Gross. So yeah, eventually you do have to end up, you know, taking out Mux. But if you hold back for a while, you get some unique dialogue that you probably missed going through the DLC. At least I haven't seen any videos over this dialogue on YouTube. Anyway, some more unique dialogue that you can get is with Stelson at the end after taking out Mux. If you stick back for a while, if you stick back for a little bit and don't go to Knifey's world immediately, you can actually talk to Stelson. <laughs> He has some things to tell you. Check this out. Yeah. How's that the capital punishment? Holy shit! You did it! I mean, that's not really what capital punishment means, by the way, but you did it! Mux is dead. <laughs> oh, I never thought I'd say it, oh, but I'm tired of killing. I think I need a vacation. Oh, it takes it out of you. Woo! That really was great work. Seriously, you really showed a lot of initiative today. <laughs> I'm gonna put in a good word about getting you promoted. Oh, sh! How does any of that work now? Does the company just not exist anymore? Oh god, I, I don't know if I'm built for life outside the corporate landscape. Hey guys! Stelson! Wow, you really did it! That's so wild! I thought for sure you were gonna die. You, there! Stelson! I need you to be the new CEO, okay? God, please, can you do that for me? I need things back the way they were. Ah, uh, I'm actually not super into doing a lot of work. Don't worry, that's perfect. The CEO doesn't have to do any work. Oh, well, in that case. All right, as new CEO of Muxalon, first order of business, you're promoted, Bounty Hunter. Yeah! Second order of business, we've got to let you go, Bounty Hunter. Sorry, layoffs. Oh, sure, yeah. Okay. All right, all right, enough. I'm trying to find my home planet here. Does anyone know how to track a package to its sender? One of the computers in here should do the trick, but that is the last time I am helping you. Thanks, mate. You're the best manager I ever had. All right, everyone else. There's nothing to see. Back to work. Oh, thank God, everything is back to normal. <laughs> thank you for your help, Bounty Hunter. Oh, wait, what am I saying? I hope I never see you again. You know, at first, I thought about doing things a little differently around here. Then I realized, duh, it's way easier to keep doing things the way they've always been done. So, yeah. Since I'm keeping things basically the same way they were, there's probably still going to be a lot of things trying to kill you around here. Change is hard. I enjoyed our short time together, Bounty Hunter, but now you and I live in different worlds. A powerful business figure like myself can't be seen interacting with a peon like you. You understand. Figured I'd make a video over this. Hope you all found this enjoyable. And if you did, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on it. The support is greatly appreciated. As always, that's totally up to you. Just leave a reminder here at the end. I'm out of here, though. Most importantly, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.